as the Riders prepare to kick off the 2006 Amped Mobile Supercross White season. The competition will be fierce as the Riders are set for the gates to drop on one of the most challenging courses on the Supercross circuit, right here on Speed. The Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario, Canada is home to Major League Baseball's Blue Jays and the Argonauts of the Canadian Football League. Tonight, however, is the high-flying action of the Amp Supercross Light Series that will have the dome rocking. Hi, everybody. I'm Roushey. Home Cup 2003. We'll because they're a part of the Amped Mobile World Supercross GP, which is also taking place here tonight in the Rogers Center. That means there's just dollars and pride on the line. And Danny, that means really there's three riders that come to the forefront in the battle for those checkered flags. Yeah, definitely. Red Bull KTM's Nathan Ramsey. He's the winner here last year, a year ago. He has a new guy in his corner, Buddy Antonez, former arena cross champion and his good friend. He's been coaching Nathan. Nathan's looking for a repeat performance tonight. Also the Honda duo of Andrew Short and Davey Millsaps. Andrew Short is on a roll right now. He was the king of Bercy over in France, dominating performance. Davey Millsaps, on the other hand, new bike, new team. He wants to show Honda he was worth that investment. Let's show you how the night racing program will break down. There's a series of heat races that will send some riders straight to the main event. If you don't make it out of the heat, well, then you have one final shot in the LCQ, the last chance qualifier to be a part of the 22 riders and the 15 lap main event. Before we head to the first heat race, let's head downstairs and introduce you to the third member of our broadcast crew. Here's Chris Devota with our progressive pre-race report. Guys, the energy down here is incredible. Not only did Nate Ramsey win this race last year, he turned the quickest lap in today's practice, two and a half tenths quicker than the rest of the field. And he has something else in his pocket of vacancy. Westlight's champ Ivan Tedesco has moved up to the Supercross series. That means Nathan Ramsey wants the number one spot all to himself. He's ready to take the first fight tonight in Toronto. All right, Krista, thanks for that report. Let's take a look at tonight's starting grid. Who do you like out of this one? Uh, there's some good riders, but there's two KTM kids, Nathan Ramsey, Josh Hansen. Uh, those guys are going to be the dominant riders of this field, and I think I think Nate Dogg, he looked great in practice, like uh, Krista just said. I'm getting Nate Dogg's corner tonight right now. And, of course, what you're looking to do is transfer right out of this straight to the main event and make your night a little bit easier. Yeah, you definitely don't want to have to go to that last chance qualifier. You know, this is, uh, you want to get out of this heat straight into the main event. And uh, Nate Dogg, he's got, everything, he's got everything going right now. Like I said earlier, he's got Buddy Antonez, his new riding coach. They're good friends. I think when you bring in someone else that can kind of see some of your mistakes and kind of help you along, Nathan's on the right track right now. There's a good look at the to make of the California rider, Nathan Ramsey. And there's Josh Hansen. Also from Temecula. Yeah, Josh last year almost won the East Championship. He tied actually with Grant Langston. So he has also got a good, strong season coming up here in 2006. Everybody getting set to get underway. Good crowd on hand here tonight at the Rogers Center, formerly known as the Sky Dome here in Toronto. Waiting for the gate to drop on the seas. Here we go. I believe that's Michael Willard getting a whole shot. Michael Willard is a 125 outdoor motocross champion up here in Canada, and uh, he's showing he can get it done in Supercross as well. And it looked like Ramsey on the 25 slots right in behind him, and then it is the 740 out in front, or 749 of Michael Willard out of Thornville, Ohio. And he gets passed quickly by Ramsey, who now starts to pull away already on the number 25, the KTM. Nathan's been doing lots of testing this year, a lot of practice. He had a, a, a really off outdoor season. He was injured, had to have some surgery, get some stuff done. Right now, he's looking strong. Looks like he's been, uh, been really working hard this off season. Here, 
it comes to number 100 to take over second place. Josh Hansen also on the KTM. And the KTM's running first, second, and third. Working their way through the rhythm section in Ramsey already starting to open up a pretty good lead. Big triple. You can just hear the four-stroke power in this light class. All top three riders right now on the KTM. Just showing KTM's been doing their homework in, uh, all season long. They got a strong bike, and they've got two strong riders out front right now. Very soft dirt here in Toronto. Smooth right now. Could be a problem later on tonight. Let's take you back to our amped mobile hold shot as we see how the 749 of Willard got the jump on the field. You see him just explode right out of the middle. The, 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 the gate just comes down the middle, runs the other KTMs a little wide, and boom, Michael Willard out front, your 125 national motocross champion here in Canada in 2005, getting it done in Supercross. Nathan Ramsey, we talked about at the very beginning of the show that he would be one of the riders to keep an eye on, and as Kristen pointed out, he wants to change that number 25 before the season is over. Yeah, he's a former uh, Lights champion already. Uh, he'd like to get another title under his belt. He's, he's kind of changed up some stuff. Nathan's been known as being a, a little bit of an erratic rider, putting a lot of energy into his uh, into his riding and sometimes wasting motion, I guess you could say. He's kind of blowing up for him sometimes. Him and Buddy have been working really hard on smoothing out, riding the best of the bike, getting the most of his momentum and not wasting it in the corners getting the bike out, and be able to jump stuff, getting through the whoops fast, and you can see Nathan right now, his coaching has been done really well. Nathan Ramsey leading here in round number one for the Supercross Lights 2005. We'll be back for more on Speed. Racing action continuing here inside the Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Two laps to go in the first heat for the Supercross Lights machines here tonight. Nathan Ramsey continuing to lead, setting himself up for a good spot in tonight's main event. You mentioned earlier the track is soft. The dirt is definitely soft up here in Toronto. In practice, we saw the track get really rutted. Right now, we're going to probably see the, the track look better than it's going to look all night long. I mean, these four, these, these lights class, and then the 450s and the Supercross are really going to tear up this, class, this track tonight. And these guys are able to jump. Some of the obstacles, they might not be able to jump later tonight because there's no ruts in the face of the jumps. So these guys are able to turn premier lap times right now and get the job done. Josh Hansen is running second right now. Looking a little frustrated. Nothing. You don't like to get second, and you sure don't like to get second to your teammate. We talked about the fact that Ramsey's been known to maybe turn up a little more energy than he needs to. What's the story on Hansen? What's he known for? Well, Josh, like I said, he, he almost won the, uh, the Lights Championship last season. He made a couple mistakes. Grant Langston got the win over uh, over Josh because of he had more wins. But then Josh had some injuries. He had a torn uh, MCL in his knee. He had a bone spur in his wrist. He had to have two separate surgeries over the summer to get healed up. He took the Nationals off, said, man, I need to get healed up and focus on his 2006 Supercross season and try and, solve, try and get himself a light title. No doubt the most physically challenging form of motorsports on the planet. Supercross competition and the lights putting on quite a show here tonight in the Rogers Center. Checkered flag falls for Josh Hansen. He will take second place to Ramsey. And it looks like it will be a KTM sweep of the top three as 749 Michael Willard, who grabbed the amp mobile hole shot tonight, will end up taking third place. Let's take a look at the start. Willard with the jump out of the center. Leading the pack into turn one. And then, as you said, just runs them all wide. Ran them wide, and uh, the KTMs are coming out one, two, and three. Definitely a good night for, uh, for, the, for the Orange team. Red Bull KTM making things happen to happen early in heat number one of the lights. Were you surprised to see the KTM so strong? You know, last season, they've, uh, they showed that they've done their homework, that they've got a good motorcycle. It just shows it's still working here in 2006. Here's a look at the results from heat number one for the Supercross Lights. Top nine transfer. That means Dwayne Evans just misses the spot. Let's head downstairs to the victory podium where Chris is standing by with a winner, Nathan Ramsey.
the winner of heat number one for the lights, Nathan Ramsey. Nathan, kind of picking up where you left off last year, winning this event. Good start. Thanks. You know, it, it, it was great to come up here last year and get a few under my belt before the season started. And, you know, this year was a given. I had to go up here and have a lot of fun in Canada. And these are these are, these are important to me. You know, I put a lot of work in, in the off season, And, you know, my Red Bull KTM is running good this year. And I, I can't wait to get, get out there in the main event and try to do it. What are your chances for the main? Hopefully good. You know, I'm going to try to get a good start and just, you know, go as hard as I can. All right, that's our Heat 1 winner, Nathan Ramsey. Guys, back upstairs to you. All right, Krista, thanks. Here's the starting lineup. Davey Millsap's probably got to be one of the strong favorites here. Uh, Millsap's and Andrew Short for sure. Billy Linovich and Jake Weimer, two guys on the Sobe Samsung team, who are going to be really strong this year as well. Kate drops some more underway with Heat number two, Supercross Lights from Toronto. Well, that Heat one looked like a KTM commercial. This Heat two looks like a Honda commercial. All Hondas up front. I think the top eight or nine bikes are all red right now. With out front. Andrew Short, I believe, jumping out front. Yeah, that number 29 Honda, he's been doing his homework, he's been working hard in the offseason, he's the king of Bercy, France, was undefeated over there, and he is just carrying that momentum right now into Toronto. Bercy, France, one of the big off-season, if you will, events for Supercross riders, a, a good way to, for some to stay in shape, stay in their training regiment, and for Andrew Short, a great way to build up momentum. Yeah, I think Andrew's problem the last couple seasons was he, he started real slow. Uh, he's a super talented guy, he's on good equipment, but he just didn't get the ball rolling quick enough. This season he went overseas, tried to get some extra racing done, and you see him up here in Canada doing the same thing. He needs to start the season at Anaheim ready, 100%. And when you got Davey Millsaps on your, your rear wheel, you better be ready. That's Millsaps on the other one, the 118 on it. Millsaps to the inside, takes the lead away from Andrew Short. Nice move. Yeah, the a great move. I saw Davey actually take that one in practice. He's one of the few guys that's scoring up and taking the inside in the first turn area. It kind of changes up his rhythm, and he was able just to move outside and block Andrew, just like Andrew did right there. These guys are going at it. And being teammates, these guys fight this, do this on a daily basis out of the Honda Press practice track. Short retaking the lead. Coming back into this rhythm section here. Little step on, step off into the usual triple section. Andrew Short kind of stretching the bike out, trying to clear that. Here comes the whoop. Davey Millsaps is known for hammering these whoops fast. Andrew way on the outside, trying to miss the rut. Davey basically going right down the middle, not afraid. He's a big, powerful, strong kid. Sometimes Some people say he's almost too big for the lights class, but maybe someday he'll be moving up real quickly that 450. Let's see if Davey takes his inside line. Let's take a look at our Amp Mobile hole shot as Millsap takes the lead back. Here's how Short got the lead at the beginning. Andrew actually did not have the jump coming in the first turn. That's Davey Millsap going wide, having a big lead. And Andrew Short just stopped at a dime, went to the inside, and just blocked everybody and just shot down to this rhythm section. A smart move by Andrew Short. Instead of trying to bang bars, he just stopped at the inside and came out the lead. More than one way to get the job done as Millsaps holds the lead. But look at Short ripping through that section. Andrew coming right back at him. Yeah, I mentioned in that KTM race, that, or he won, that you never want to get beat. And you never want to get beat by your teammate. You don't want to go back to the truck and be the second place guy. And these two guys, even though they're bowing and they are teammates, neither one of them wants to give in and give the other one the win. Well, the way this is setting up right now is we watch Millsaps just blasting through those whoops. It looks like it's certainly going to be a KTM versus Honda main event tonight. Yeah, it, it is definitely set up that way right now. The top two guys in that heat one with uh, KTM Red Bull, this heat two. The Millsaps short show right now. Davey going to the inside. He's got to roll the first jump while Andrew's able to double, triple. He's kind of stretching it out, and there's no advantage at all. Davey has got the advantage right now. Is this the type of track that would favor a bigger, stronger rider? You mentioned the fact that Millsaps is, oh, and Millsaps is down. Millsaps goes down to the inside. He's up. Can he get the bike going? Yes. He's underway, but he's lost a spot or two as Andrew Short retakes the lead. Just a simple mistake there by Davey. He's out front, just kind of loses the front end, opens up the door for Andrew to take the lead, and I believe Billy Leninovich takes over the second spot. Yes, the rider number 132, also on a Honda out of Corona, California, takes over second place. Now let's watch what happened here, Denny. Davey just rolls the inside, and he loses the front end. You see the dirt got a little bit of polish there. He weighed the front end a little bit too much, the front end wash, and down he went. Just a simple fall down, just opens up the door for Andrew Short. Doesn't take much, and Short, who had the whole shot early on, takes the lead here at Toronto. He 
Heat number two for the Supercross Lights continuing here in Toronto. There's a good look in Honda rider number 132, Billy Laninovich, who runs in second place, courtesy of the fact that Davey Millsaps, who crashed out of the lead, handed over two positions. That put Andrew Short out in front, and Billy on that 132 moves up to second now. Billy Laninovich, he uh, got his first win of his career at the San Francisco Supercross uh, just earlier here in 2005. We, we, a lot of people expect a little bit bigger things from what Billy's shown lately, just for the simple reason he's had major knee injuries. He's had his knee blown out twice, I believe, having had major surgery. I, this is one of the first years he's come in 100% healthy, and I think the Samsung Sobe Honda team expects big things. I think up here in the booth, we expect Billy this, this uh, 2006 season as well. And nobody probably expects more out of his year than Billy himself. Yeah, I mean, nothing's more confident than coming into a season healthy. You know, coming in hurt, you're already, you already feel a defeatist attitude, but to come in feeling really good and have a good season of testing, a good season of training, you know, coming up here to Canada, being able to get in two solid races here in Toronto and then Vancouver next weekend, and you got nothing but confidence, hopefully rolling into Anaheim 1. It's short, Leninovich, Millsaps, and Weimer here top four with Ewing on the 586, running along Dennis Ewing out of Lake Elsinore, California. He rides on a Honda as well, and he holds down fifth position right now. Checkered flag falls for Andrew Short, who led him coming out of the first turn. Swapped the lead on numerous occasions with Davey Millsaps, but he ends up taking the lead. Billy Leninovich will hang on for second. Millsaps gets back on the bike to finish third. Here are the results from heat number two for the Supercross Lights. Once again, the top nine transfer. So Neil Farlow will have to work his way in through the last chance qualifier if he can do it. Let's head downstairs. Chris is standing by with a winner, Andrew Short at the victory podium. Well, Andrew Short, the heat winner of the second heat for the lights. And now, if Davey hadn't had that trouble, would you still be up here? Um, I don't know. He was riding really good. We we're going back and forth, and it's hard because we're teammates and we're new and it's play nice. I don't know, you know. So it'll be interesting tonight in the main, and hopefully I can get away from him and not have to worry about it. Well, you were out of the gate first, so not to take anything away from your winning. What's your chances here in the main tonight? Oh, I think really good as long as I get a good start, like you mentioned, and the rest is up to me. You know, my bike's awesome. Honda has put a great bike underneath me, and. I'm happy and looking forward for that main event. Congratulations, Andrew Short on the Honda, the winner of the Light Heat 2. Andrew Short takes the checkered flag, and we have four spots left open in the Supercross Lights main event. We'll have the last chance qualifier from Toronto when speed returns right after this. Left in tonight's main event for Supercross Lights, here's the Dunlop starting grid for the Supercross Lights last chance qualifier. This is where those four riders will come from. As we look at the field, the race has just gotten underway, picking up the action with three laps left of the scheduled four. Yeah, Brock Harden, we see out front at number 150 KTM. Interesting story about Brock Harden. His father, Scott Harden, is a world-famous off-road racer, works for KTM, actually. He's got to be proud of his son, now out front in his LCQ. Battling for those final couple of spots in tonight's main event. Again, that's Harden right there out front with uh, Carl Schlack in second on that Honda. These guys out front. Looks like these are going to be put in that main event. Oh, big flat landing by Brock Harden. Bounces the head off the crossbar pad as they head in the whoop section right now. Schlack making the toe up from Strongsville, Ohio. Bringing the Honda with him. Giving chase now, trying to see if he can't move himself up into the lead. He has a transfer into the main event. The KTM rider out front, Brock Harden out of Menifee, California. Working their way through the rhythm section. This is one of Brock's first Supercross races, I believe, in his career. Uh, what a way to do it, put it in this main event here in this last chance qualifier out front right now. Giving chase to the rest of the guys. Well, the Supercross Lights class all night long, all the way down to the last chance qualifier, all about KTM versus Honda. It continues here, KTM out in front. Heading towards the bigger jumps, the big triple. Nobody gonna take it here. Two to go.
Harden, Schlack, Martin, Logan Martin on the 566, holding on to Evans and Farlow. Neil Farlow in fourth. Oh, and right there, you see Brock Hart going in the corner. It just looked like he might drop back to second. He kills his motorcycle and now drops out of qualifying position. What a heartbreak for Brock. Looks like he's going to have the thing all locked up, kills the motorcycle, and is unable to get it fired and now drops out of qualifying position. I had Farlow in fourth. Now he is in fourth with Harden going down. He was actually in fifth until right there where Harden went down, and he can't seem to get the bike restarted. What a huge disappointment, a chance to put it in the final in your first attempt and is unable to. He's going to have to go home, pack it up, get in the stands, get ready for that main event. There's a good look at Neil Farlow right there, number 98 on the Yamaha. He takes over the final transfer spot now as we're into the final lap. So Farlow looking at a shot at the main event tonight here in Toronto. There's Harden. He's done. He's walking off frustrated. Meanwhile, Schlacked out front, short distance to go, and this one will be complete. Final corner, last few jumps, and the win for Carl Schlacked and Honda here in the last chance qualifier at Toronto for Supercross Light. Let's head downstairs now. Here's Chris Devona with a progressive pre-race report for the main event. A lot of familiar names up front for this lights main race. No surprise there. But what about the great battle we're going to have between two manufacturers, KTM and Honda? They qualify the top six spots of the heat races, alternating KTM and Honda every other one. So a great bragging rights battle. Guys, I think there should be like a little side bet going on. Maybe the winner gets a hat of his choice. Well, we're in Canada, so that would be a toque of his choice. Okay? Thanks, Christy. Here's a look at the Dunlop starting grid for tonight's main event for the Supercross Lights. Of course, we got some great riders in this one, but this is really going to come down to a battle between the manufacturers, Honda and KTM. It's going to be a great fight for the win here tonight in Toronto, and we'll have it all for you coming up next right here on Speed Channel when we return to the Rogers Lights main event from Toronto, Canada. 22 riders getting set for a 15-lap run to the checker. Obviously, it's going to be a battle between KTM and Honda. Nathan Ramsey going to be one of the main guys we'll be focused on for KTM. Nathan comes in at number one qualifier. He's got a lot to prove. He wants to repeat his win from a year ago. One of his top challengers is going to be Andrew Short for Honda on the 29. Gate drops and we're underway. Looked like he had a good drive, but did anybody come up the inside? Looks like one of the Honda riders. Short. And Short takes him. He learned from his heat race. Stopped on the inside. Come out with the whole shot. He has a huge advantage right now. He's out front and making some stuff happen. There's Ryan Gall right there. Our camera guy jumps into the tough blocks and goes down. He gets going again. Powers his way out of the tough blocks, and he's back into the competition. Meanwhile, out front. Andrew Short, big triple jump there. It's our big players right up front, top three, Josh Hansen second, Nathan Ramsey third. This is what we've been waiting for all night long, Ralph. Josh Hansen on the number 100 KTM. Well, we've talked about it all night, KTM versus Honda, and right now, Honda with a big lead. Andrew's getting on front, he's getting away right now. Josh Hansen sees this. Kind of mess around with his teammate right now. When these guys are messing with each other, Andrew Short, he's just breaking away. And this is exactly what Andrew's going to love. The fact that these two are battling, both of them thinking they stand a the better chance of catching Short if they can just get out in front and get some clean running room. Now that battle settled down a little bit. It looks like the 100 of Josh Hansen is going to hang on to second for now. If Nathan's smart, he's going to settle in behind Josh, he's his teammate, and they need to set up with each other and make a run at Andrew, because if they start messing with each other, there's no chance you're going to catch Andrew, because he's making a run for it out front, looking strong. Let's take another look at the start. He dropped our amp mobile full shot replay. Keep an eye on Andrew Short. He's got the 
flat, black, one into his helmet. He's right there at the bottom of your screen. He's gassing it. He's got the whole shot. You see him breaking. Everybody else goes wide. He hugs that tough block, rolls that first jump, and gets that amped hole shot, and he's out front and right. That guy learned a lot from his heat race. This is exactly what Bubba Stewart did in his heat race as well. Out front, it's still Honda. The red machine of Andrew Short. We talked earlier on in the evening about the momentum that he had coming into the opening round here at Toronto. And boy, it's just continuing for him, and it's going to be hard, it looks like, for anybody to stop it. Well, quite honestly, the U.S. Open in October, Andrew was the fast guy in the track. He had some mechanical problems, was unable to win the event. He followed that up with a King of Mercy win. Six wins, or three wins in a row over the weekend. Dominates the whole weekend. His second King of Mercy win over in France. He came this weekend with a lot of confidence. But right now, in second, Josh Hansen. In third, Nathan Ramsey. And in fourth, Davey Millsaps. Davey chased down Andrew Short in his heat race, but ended up falling. So, although Davey fell and got third, he knows he can run the pace, and he knows he can chase down Short if he gets the opportunity. And right here, he's making the move. He dives inside, and look, at him, he just shuts the momentum down, and Nathan Ramsey puts up a blood oh. and move, and then just chops him. Right there, he cuts inside, and keeping Nathan from blocking him. And in the process, basically chops Nathan's front end, and he high side over the top of them. A big crash for Nathan. You see his bars are bent, his levers are bent. I'll be surprised if Nathan gets back in this race. And that'll move Millsaps up into third on his Honda. Another Honda rider, Weimer, runs in fourth on the 131. So KTM left now with just really one rider as Ramsey has left the racetrack. Ramsey pulls off, calling it a night. That really leaves one KTM rider in the mix, and Josh Hansen really carries and he's currently in a Honda sandwich. Andrew Short out front, and Davey Millsap has hunted him down from a considerable distance right now. If Millsap needs, well, Millsap needs to get around Josh quickly right now. Not having any hassle. Oh, oh, right there. Right into the tough one. Well, Millsap tries to dive the inside of Hansen, kind of loses the front end. Doesn't go down, but he has to draw, jump off the motorcycle, jump back on, loses valuable. That might have been the difference between the win right now. I don't know if he can catch Andrew Short with that much gap right now. Just a couple of laps in, but a bobble like that can cost you dearly in this 15-lap feature. You can see Davey Millsaps runs wide, runs Nathan a little wide, but then that leaves Nathan on the inside. Nathan, look, he was just charging and maybe going to try and slingshot around the outside, not realizing Davey was going to chop him so hard. As we see, Nathan is off the track. Ben and bars. you can see the bent bard on the right. A huge disappointment for Nathan. Our, two, our, our season, our winner here last year, unable to duplicate that feat. But at least he came out unscathed. He's not hurt. His bike, bike just got banged up. He'll be back next week in Vancouver, no doubt. Meanwhile, with a third of the race complete, man, nothing bothering Andrew Short so far. It has been a tremendous fall and winner for Andrew Short so far. We talked about the success of the King of Percy competition. And now here he is in Toronto, putting it to the rest of the Supercross Lights competition here as well. Hanson, Millsaps. And Billy Leninovich giving chase. He's moved himself up to fourth on the 132 on another Honda. So that gives Honda four out of the five in the top five right now. That dominating performance for the Red Riders indeed. And it looks like Davey Miltaps has kind of settled into a spot right now. He, he's kind of lost the charge he had earlier. He had reeled in Josh, made that mistake, and now, now he's kind of settled into his third place spot. Maybe hoping Hanson makes a mistake. Well, we talked about Nathan Ramsey out of it. Chris Devote is with him. Last year's race winner here, Nathan Ramsey. What happened out there? Well, you know, I was off to a good start and everything was looking good, but uh, I clipped uh, Millhouse's rear, rear wheel, and you know, it was my fault. I, I didn't know he was going to cut in like that, and you know, it's a bummer. I wanted to race with those guys and get some really good laps under my belt, and I was there. But what do you do? You know. The Red Bull KTM just got me to a good start, and you know I just wanted to finish good. So um, next week, race winner, the heat winner. You can see the disappointment on Nathan Ramsey's face, guys. Ramsey out tonight, but certainly going to be a strong competitor through the rest of the season. Do you? Think
used to what you're seeing tonight, Denny? Does it look like the KTMs are just going to be out of this competition? Is this going to be all Honda this season, the way that Honda dominating the top five so far tonight? Well, I think the biggest thing is Honda made a huge effort to come to Canada. They brought the two factory riders, Andrew Short and David Milstaff. They brought their two uh, Samsung so Sobe riders, Jake Weimer and Billy Leninovich. And, uh, you know, while a lot of the other teams stayed home, they chose not to come to Canada. These two, I think these two teams are reaping the benefits. We're seeing Josh Hansen out front running second. And uh, Honda's got, you know, obviously four guys in the top five. But they are the guy, they're the main money guys. I think once we start getting everybody together, come Anaheim, you know, we're going to see a lot of good teams. But by coming to Canada, I think these guys are reaping the benefits. Their riders are getting time on the track, time on their bikes. And, and, and there's no better thing, no better trainer than out racing. We see, honestly, Josh Hansen starting to make some mistakes here. And here comes Bill Zaps. He hasn't given up yet. And Short has dropped. And the lead goes to the 100 of Josh Hansen. Off camera, Andrew Short goes down. So this is the battle for the lead right now. And it's kind of funny. All of a sudden, you see Davey Miltaps realizing, hey, this is a shot for the win. He stepped up the pace. Here he comes side by side in the same section. We saw him and Nathan Ramsey tangle. And just when we thought maybe he had to have this one in the bag and that nothing would stop Josh or uh, Andrew Short. Apparently something has as Josh Hansen inherits the lead and Millsaps now trying to take it back for Honda. In the inside, here comes Millsaps. You see Josh trying to go wide, do that step on, step off tabletop combination while Millsaps goes to the inside. Unable to make the pass. Josh right now needs to race the track, needs to race forward. I think he's a little worried about where Millsaps is right now. And it's only going to be a matter of time before Millsaps makes his pass. Millsaps basically doing exactly what you have to do. Go everywhere the leader is not. Changing his lineup through every section. Right alongside as they work their way through the whoops. On the outside, Millsaps tries to get around him. Can't get it done. Over the finish line jump. Hampton hanging on. The KTM rider. Now let's see what Millsaps does as they work their way through another rhythm section. Outside, cuts back to the yeah. inside, little contact. I expect an aggressive pass when, when Millsaps makes the pass. He's going to right now. He looks over at him and he's going, man, what are you doing? You ride so wide. Josh is doing everything he can to try and make this, to get this win right now. He's not giving up. Dives back to the inside. Millsaps now opens up a little bit of a gap. If he can get away, keep from Josh, dive bombing one of these corners. Millsaps is, is right now riding stronger. He's riding faster. And this is why Honda went after him this year. Honda went after him with some big bucks. Pulled him away from back to Suzuki. David Millsaps found a Suzuki as long as I heard the kid's man. Honda said, you know what? We want the kid's talent. The kid's phenomenal. Basically hired him away for it, and the money's paying off. You're seeing what David Millsaps get done. And you can see through that whoop section how hard Hansen was pushing, and he wasn't nearly as smooth as Millsaps lost a lot of time. Yeah, J Josh, it's early in the season. It's his first race back. He's had off-season surgery. That's why he's up here, to kind of work the bugs out. He looks a little tight. He buys a little arm pump right now. And if he can get it worked out here, he won't have more time. Feature event for the Supercross Lights from Toronto. The new Honda. It's continuing here in Toronto. And it's Davey Millsaps out front on the Honda, but he was not the first Honda rider to lead here tonight. Andrew Short was, and he disappeared off our screen, and here's why. He just does the step on, step off. Decides not to jump the triple. I don't know if there was some kind of mechanical failure right there. He rolled off the track, exited, crashed off the track. The, the crash was more of an accident. We can only speculate. I know he had a motor problem with it at US Open at, at DNF. Maybe that's what happened again. I don't know. I, I, it looked like something no fault to Andrew. Even though yeah. he did crash, he failed out jumping that triple because he was not having the power he felt he needed. He, it sure looked like he knew he wasn't going to make it. Yeah, and I think he decided just to get off the track instead of risking landed on, and, and in the process, is kind of tripped over the top block. But you know, I hope Andrew's okay and everything's all right. But uh, what, a, what an unbelievable turn of events! Our two of our four favorites out of the race entirely: Nathan Ramsey and Andrew Short. Opens up the door for Billy Linovich in third, Jake Weimer in fourth, and local favorite, Canadian favorite, Michael Willard in fifth. You had a great hole shot earlier tonight, and now putting in a solid top five performance. 
There's a 132. Well, we talked a lot about Billy tonight. He's showing a lot of speed, too. Billy's riding good. He's riding smooth. He's a little bit off. He's leader to the top two guys' pace right now. But again, that's why they're up here. They're up here. So it's a warm-up race for these guys on the lights. They're, they got to ride the race for the race for money. But again, they're racing to prepare themselves for the Anaheim opener. And right now, Billy's in third. It's a, it's a Honda Dynamo with uh, you know the top three of the top four guys right now. And Willard on a KTM. So KTM does get two riders right now. Although Willard is not one of the factory riders, at least they did get one of their machines, another one of their machines into the top five. Two KTM to the top five, the rest all Honda. And as we were talking about, as we watched the 118 of our leader, Davey Millsaps, on his Honda out front, there's still quite a few other KTM riders that we'll see throughout the course of the season, just not here tonight. I love factory KTM rider, Red Bull team, and, you know, Mike Lessie, Jeff Lessie. There's a number of other guys we'll be seeing once the season gets rolling. We're only seeing a handful of the talent right now. It's a big handful of talent we got here in Canada, but only a small handful compared to what we're going to be seeing once the season starts rolling in Anaheim, once the east lights and the west lights kick in. Two laps left for Davey Millsap. Almost jumping right out of the screen. Overall, a solid ride, I think, for Josh. Uh, I think Josh, you know, Josh wanted to win, but in all reality, after coming off two major surgeries like he's had, he, he's got to be pumped. He saw he can run up front. He, he saw what these guys are capable of. The biggest thing is being able to see their speed and then know what you got to do and know the hard work you got to get done. And I would expect to see Josh come out even a stronger, more aggressive rider from Vancouver. Now, one thing you might notice about Millsaps, too, is he wears a neck roll, one of the few riders in the world to do that. Yeah, Davey's done that ever since he was a, a mini rider, a young, young mini rider. It's, uh, it's something he believes in a protection device he likes to use. And you know, whether or not it, it's something that works or not, he believes in it. And it, it's a comfort factor, I believe, for him. And like I said, it, it's one of the few guys in pro levels that you see, you see run that. And if you're not comfortable, you're not fast. Yeah, it, it, you know, any other sport, it's a lot of superstitions. You know, if, you're, if you've had a safe career, and uh, why change things up? But overall, look at Honda right now. They're going to be pretty pumped. They went out and they hired a guy to, to win, and first race on Honda, the guy's getting it done, he's getting the win. Making his way to the finish line jump. Davey Millsaps getting the new season off to a good start. Checkered flag. Flying high for Davey Millsaps, the winner of the Supercross Lights on the Amp Mobile Tour here in Toronto. Hansen will take second. Leninovich. Leninovich. He's got a crazy name. I'm telling you, we're going to make him Smith before the year's over. Billy getting third. Davey Millsaps, the big win. Boy, that is going to be a huge, huge bit of confidence boost coming over to the new team. Davey's yeah, got, uh, like I said, I'm sorry to interrupt, he, he, he's got a huge training facility in, in Georgia. He works very hard with his, his mom's, his trainer, kind of like Ricky's mom is, Ricky Carmichael's mother. Uh, he's got a huge Millsap training facility. It's obviously done this kid a lot of work, and Honda is investing in him in the future, and uh, I believe that Davey Millsap is going to be a, a, a future Supercross champion very soon. Well, that's the way you do it. Change teams, put a lot of pressure on your shoulders, come back with a big win. We'll be back to talk to him right after this. Welcome back inside the Rogers Center here in Toronto, Canada. The final checker flag of the night has waved over the Supercross Lights competition. Let's head downstairs to the podium where Chris Avoda is standing by with third place. Our third place rider in the Lights division tonight, Billy Leninovich. Billy, did you have anything out there for those guys? Was there a way you could maybe move up there tonight? Yeah, you know, I was trying my hardest, and you know what, the check just wasn't suiting me that well. It was really ruddy and stuff, and you know, I'm just glad to get up here and get third place. That's absolutely right. As a podium to start out the year, what does that do for you guys? Confidence and momentum. Yeah, I mean, definitely you get confidence, and uh, that's why I'm here, to get ready for uh, the real season. And so hopefully I can go out there and uh, hopefully win next weekend and win uh, the championship. All right, we love his riding style, and Ralph, I know we love his name. Billy Lidinovich, our third place rider tonight. Here's a look at the Supercross Lights main event 
final results from here in Toronto, and it came down to a battle between Honda and KTM. Honda gets the edge here tonight. Davey Millsaps beating Josh Hansen to the line for the win. Jake Wimmer making his first appearance in the Supercross Light Series comes home with a top five. Let's head downstairs to Krista standing by with Josh Hansen. Josh Hansen, our second place finisher. Josh, let's talk about the battle between you and Davey Millsaps. That was a great one out there. Yeah, it turned out good. It came down to the wire and uh, he's, he's outrode me tonight. Uh, you know, I got a lot to learn. I mean, he's young and he's beating me, so I got to catch up on my skills. <coughs> but uh, couldn't have done it without my dad, Donnie. And uh, Red Bull KTM, especially Red Bull. I drank the Red Bull after I went out and helped me get to the finish line. Uh, answer Racing, uh, Dragon Goggles, and uh, Dunlop Tires. They actually, I couldn't have done it with all those people and the Lord Jesus Christ. You are definitely a pro at getting all those sponsors in. You mentioned that you have a lot to learn to Davey. What kind of things, what kind of specifics for this season? You know, just mainly speed-wise. He, he, he puts in a good fight, you know, all the way to the end. And I think I settled too much. I'm going to work on that, and I'll be ready for Super Bowl. Say predictions for the rest of the year. What about next week in Vancouver? I mean, I can only do so much. I want to go ahead and win for at least uh, when the Supercross starts. It's going to be on for sure. I'm going to make sure I go home with the number one place. So. All right, did you hear that? It's going to be on. We love it. The gauntlet has been laid down already in week number one, guys. Here's our Buku Big Air replay of the night. The 118 of Davey Millsaps taking a big win and plenty of hang time here tonight in Toronto as he takes the victory in Supercross Lights. Down to the victory podium, Chris Devota standing by with the Honda Mounted Rider. Our lights winner in Toronto, Davey Millsap. Davey, how big is this win to start off the season? How big is this? Rank it for us. Well, you know, it's definitely a big win for me. And I, uh, I came in here to get used to the bike and get used to, uh, you know, just riding and racing again. And, uh, you know, I wasn't really expecting to do anything spectacular. And I, you know, a short went down or whatever happened to him. You know, I just took over the lead. You know, uh, you know, I'll take the win. You know, it's, I think this is a, you know, a big plus for me in my, in my books. So. You mentioned the new bike. You're on Honda now. What do you think of it? Oh, you know, I love the bike. I love it. You know, I couldn't say anything better about it. You know, um, I'm just, you know, I'm not in the greatest shape right now. I'm trying to trying to work back in. I had surgery not too long ago, so I'm trying to work back into it. In the East Coast, I should be good to go. Yeah, you took over the lead there from Josh Hansen about lap 10. What was the key to that? What did you do? I don't know. You know, I just I just uh, rode my own race and followed his lines until he made a mistake, and I just went right by him. You know, he, he put on a good race. We looked over at each other at the triples and said what's up and whatnot. And, uh, you know, we had a little stepping going on there, and he almost almost cleaned me out in the woods because he got a little ciders in there. But, uh, you know, it was a good race for both of us, and uh, congratulations to him, too. All right, Davey Millsaps kickstarts this season on the right foot with the win here in Toronto, guys. It's been a tremendous night of racing here inside the Rogers Center, and these two-wheel fans have enjoyed every lap. Plenty of coverage coming your way on speed in the coming weeks. From Vancouver, next Sunday, December 11th at 6 p.m., we'll be back with the Amp Mobile World Supercross GP round number two, and then more Supercross Lights coverage coming your way in the coming weeks. Well, big night here for Davey Millsaps as he takes the win. A big statement for him, Denny. Yep, Honda hired him to win. He did just that tonight. A lot of high-flying action. We should see more of it between KTM and Honda as the season progresses. Yeah, those two teams are making a statement by coming up here to Canada. They're showing the other teams that this is what it takes to win a title, and I'm going to have to count KTM and Honda Riders as the favorites when they hit to Anaheim. Make sure you're with us for the entire season here on Speed Channel, the home of the Supercross Lights. For Chris Savota and Denny Stevenson, I'm Ralph Shaheen. So long.